Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zell Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Now, today I have something a lot different. Today, it, video I, that I'm ranking to is by TIBI15 Entertainment, and it's very different to what I usually do. It's Goku versus Beerus, but it's in Unreal Engine, and they look pretty much like real in Unreal in uh, Unreal Engine. I've never used Unreal Engine, but I know what it's capable of. Something I hopefully somewhere on down my somewhere further down the road. What I do, hopefully, I can un entail Unreal Engine into my channel and Source Filmmaker. I do use Source Filmmaker from time to time, but now, right now, I only use it to make pictures or uh, stuff I make every now and then. But I haven't made anything recently, but because I've been so busy. But I don't know. I this has been sitting on my playlist for quite some time, and I was never sure when to get to it because a lot of other videos were coming out, and I've just kept pushing this video further and further and further back. I don't know what really going to be about. I think this what this fight is going to be based off is based off of the Battle of the Gods movie, and that's where it's going to go from here. But I'm not entirely sure. So. Like I said, I've been pushing this off for quite some time, so I was quite unsure how to make this video possible. Because I love DBZ, but to see it in this kind of style might weird me out a lot. But with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and react to this. And really anything else to say. So with that being said, react to the bad boy in three, two, one, go. This is Rita, her lifestyle. Yes, this is from the movie. Oh my god. It is from the movie. I recognize all the lines. Jesus. Pixelations. Turn out the quality. It does weird me out, but I'm interested. I can tell this guy's an early animator, because the lip sync isn't accurate at all. Or at least with the lips, he's not completely accurate. I never understood that move from the original movie, where he Beerus just head but butts Goku. I never understood why he did that. So far, this is interesting, though. Yes, good. Now you're getting it. Really hard to see Goku, though. You seem disappointed. Honestly, yeah. Why? Don't you like being a deity? It's not the power. It's what it took to get it and what that means. I don't think I follow. It's a level of strength I can't reach on my own. Goku's mouth isn't even moving. Moving. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that's Vegeta. You say such interesting things, saying. Are you happy to have friends willing to help you become a god? Yeah, of course I am, but it's not my strength. I spent my life pushing myself to be the strongest, and now I learn there's a power level I'll never reach on my own. And I hate that. If that's so, then why did you agree to do it? 
Because at least this way I have a chance. Oh, his mouth is moving. It's just so hard to see. I liked Beerus in Battle of the Gods. But once Super came out, Beerus just... Beerus is like... I don't know how to really describe it, but Beerus just got dropped from being like a really serious and important character to one that's just there for laughs. At times, it's, it's like that throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball Super. And uh, I, hope, I hope they redeem Beerus in some way, because I did not like that variation of Beerus. At all. I mean, Beerus in Dragon Ball Super had his moments, but in terms of how they wrote him in Super, doesn't stick with me at all. And I'm sure some people can agree with me as well. So weird, but I'm very interested. You hate your strength because it's not yours. That's right. That's a sign of pride if you get a downfall. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Down, down to the cavern. Cave sign. Vegeta's always been obsessed with his pride. It's so hard to see his mouth moving. And yet the Saiyan Prince made a pitiful fool of himself on stage to protect his friends. That's right. I respect him a lot for that. It was a bitter pill to swallow, but he did it anyway. Oh, just as you swallowed your pride to accept this borrowed power, I suppose. <laughs> That's pretty much it. You know, I don't I think I could ever see them doing another live adaptation of Dragon Ball. Why not? General. Ever if it, if it's gonna look like this. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Let's continue with the reaction. What? You're holding back? Alright, fine. Let's see how you do at this I will say though, the fighting is really good, but in terms of the lip sync, it needs a little bit more work. Something else I would like to say in Dragon Ball Battle of the Gods is when I saw the decrease of uh, Goku's uh, well, most of Goku's intelligence and common sense towards things. I mean, it wasn't bad in Battle of the Gods, and <laughs> wasn't. It wasn't bad in Battle of the Gods or Resurrection Frieza, but in Super, they just made it so much worse. I can hardly tell what's going on, it's so bright.
It's so hard to keep track of what's actually going on because it's so bright. Eesh. Eyes. <laughs> Even see bears. I'm like trying to see him, but I can't. The writing between the two of them in Battle of the Gods was better than what they tried to adapt into the show. I wish they were just went based off of the movies and that was it, because the movies were definitely better than the first two sagas. Literally, the two sagas were remakes of the movies, and that was it. I mean, they could have kept some of the filler, but made some filler, but I hope that I wish that that was all they did. Honestly. Like you wanted. Embrace. Yeah. Only one small problem. This energy blast. It's gonna do major damage and I can't stop it. You're too strong. Then give up and accept your planet. <laughs> At the end of the fight. Damn it, come on! <laughs> that face is just too funny to me. Can't take that face seriously. How'd you do that? What was that power? I, I'm not sure exactly. You're not sure? <laughs> You're a fascinating creature. What the? Why did you stop? I just want to hear you say that you give up. Huh? <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I do give up. I've given all I've got, Lord Beerus, but there's still no way I can beat you. I mean, you're the strongest in the whole universe. Well, I'm happy to see you're finally realizing the full terror of Beerus the Destroyer. But I know strength when I see it, and yours is formidable. I've lived longer than you can comprehend, and of all my countless fights, you're my second strongest foe. Wow, only the second- I feel like they said that scene, that one line, second strongest foe, so that they could set up Onaka for Dragon Ball Super. I feel like that's what they did with that one line. Strongest? Well, that's a drag. <laughs> I'll tell you one more thing, and I expect you'll be quite surprised as well. What? Have you decided not to destroy Earth after all? All right. Uh oh. Um. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. It was definitely interesting to me. But the only thing that really bothers me, what the that really bothered me throughout the entirety of the video, was the lip sync. It wasn't on par. 
That's the only real thing that truly bothered me throughout this entire reaction video. But other than that, I did like it. Just the lip sync could have been better. I assume this guy is an early animator with Unreal Engine and is getting used to it. But other than that, it was really good. It, just the lip sync that was the only thing that bothered me. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all that stuff, guys. And I see you next video. Bye.